Hello, hello. Welcome to Sub Suburban Splendor. I'm Jason, working with National Exterminating. And uh, a little unusual, I've already uh, gotten into this crawl space. Usually I kind of show you guys the, the door on the way in, because that's actually pretty important to have a good door on your crawl space. I know I've discussed that quite a bit, but uh, a little bit rushed today, uh, here in the uh, holiday season now. Uh, you can see this corner's clean. Yeah, a little bit rushed. Uh, gonna be taking some time off this month. I've been running hard all year and I could use a little break. Uh, but uh, that means I'm going to be running even harder for a couple of weeks trying to get all my stuff done so I can take that time off worry-free. And now this is a pretty nice looking crawl space here. Uh, they got some, some new poly uh, tacked down pretty tight. You can see the insulation hangers used to hold it down. I've actually already uh, taken a moisture reading down here. Uh, reading ran about 10%, which is pretty much perfect if you're uh, if you're getting some lumber from yeah, one of the big box hardware stores. Uh, you know, sitting inside on the floor in a climate controlled warehouse uh, that lumber is going to probably run 10-11% uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> you don't want it to get a whole lot lower than that because that's when you start running into the wood shrinking and cracking stuff like that but that's not really a problem we have uh, here in the 757 zip code I have never ever personally seen a crawl space that had an issue with the moisture being too low. Uh, maybe if you get out uh, into the west, you know, Arizona, Nevada, Southern California, maybe out there that's a problem. Not here. I don't really have to argue with the insulation on this side. And this insulation's in real good shape. Which tells me it's probably pretty new. After a couple of years, the stuff just starts to degrade no matter what you do. And I got our main drain line out to the street. Now uh, this time of year, as things get colder, uh, we start to look out more for broken pipes, things like that. Especially a lot of these older houses, of course, you end up with the water freezing and pipes bursting. <laughs> uh, especially if it's a drain line like this. Homeowner's never going to really know until someone comes down and looks at it because it's not interfering with the water pressure at all. You just got to whatever you're flushing or running down the drain pouring out into the crawl space. You may have somebody sniff the air a little bit, you know. Yeah, something's kind of musty, but uh, other than that, they're not going to know. So, uh, your local termite guy is uh, probably going to be the only one coming down here to check out that sort of thing. Ooh. I can tell you, oy, that under this nice moisture barrier, there's some uh, there's some broken concrete that is not so fun on the elbows. Uh, 
Okay, you can see the clear on this end too. Oh. You can also see that uh, this was something's potty corner at some point. Uh, probably gonna want to talk to the homeowner about that, see if they've uh, had any issues with the uh, rodents. This ductwork is a little bit too low on this end of the house for me to get under it, unfortunately. But it's taller a few feet down, so I don't have to do a full loop, you know, loop to get out of here. And I actually haven't checked that back right corner yet either. see a little bit of discoloration here. You want to take a little closer look at that. This doesn't seem moisture related to me. Probably just some age and some dust building up. That's all right. Ah, <laughs> squeeze under that. Ooh. Oh, that scratched my back for me. That was nice. <clears throat> I was getting an itch under the coveralls. <clears throat> ah. Yeah, we got this long, dark uh, corridor behind the garage. <laughs> I think I've told you what I call that area previously. Uh, this is the BS, but uh, this one's not too bad. It's actually pretty spacious as far as that uh, area behind the garage goes, and nobody's filled it full of junk. Which is a wonder of the modern world, to me anyway. 90% of the time, you get back behind the garage and they've got every pipe and wire and cable imaginable just running through that one tight little area. It's like uh, trying to get through a man-made spider web to check things out. <clears throat> look up ahead you can see that little white dot at the far end that's daylight coming in around the air conditioning line this uh, right here is going all the way over there I'm going through the wall to get to the AC unit whoever installed it they sealed it off with the clear silicone gel, or didn't seal it off. We're going to check that out. That's something the homeowner needs to know about. Because uh, that daylight is quite possibly where our little friend got in to set up his potty corner. As much as I hate... Trying to get down into these uh, garage spaces. It is important to try to check as much as you can. Maybe one day there will be a drone that can get down here and do a full uh, Star Trek style tricorder reading. Just uh, instantly you know, get a reading of what's going on down here, but for right now, we're stuck with human beings and their eyes. So you've got to put as... Sorry, you've got to put as 
much eyeball as you can on as much of the crawl space as you can. And looking down into that gap, it is sealed with some clear silicon. So that is good. And you can see a little bit of the brick veneer peeking out to behind the uh, probably the fireplace there all right so all in all this is a uh, pretty nice and got a little bit of a little bit of scrap insulation on the ground there doesn't look like it's really missing from up above in the subflooring, there's some chunks left over that the installers didn't bother to pull out and throw away. Yeah, this is a pretty nice crawl space. No sign of any bug activity, really. No sign of any moisture issues. Which is surprising. Oh. I don't like showing you guys the outsides of houses. I don't want anybody, you know, getting identified or called out. But uh, the outside of this house has some pretty significant water damage around the window frames and, and the pillars on the front porch. So I thought I was going to be getting into something kind of nasty. But, uh... <clears throat> Looks like these folks just need to address some issues with their gutters outside to kind of get the water away so it's not pouring down onto the window frames when it's raining and not pooling on the front porch because uh, down here is pretty much perfect. All right, everybody, it's just a just a couple more feet and I'm out of here. Uh, this one's pretty much done. Uh, thank you for watching. And, uh, I hope today's the day you uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, I hope today is a day that uh, you tell somebody else about what's going on here so they can check it out. Uh, until then, I will see you next time. Uh, have a good day.